It is time to talk Tesla's competitive advantages, or who knows, lack thereof. However, before doing that, I would like to recall a story from the recent past. In one of the first videos of this case study, I compared Tesla and Apple. So, please allow me to provide a brief side note here. Apple unveiled its first iPhone in 2007, more than 10 years ago. Ever since, they have been one of the two most successful brands in the smartphone market, the other one being Samsung. Without a doubt, Apple became the most profitable smartphone producer in the world within this time frame. One would think that established players, such as BlackBerry, Nokia, Sony Ericsson, and even Samsung, would have managed to catch up in the premium phone segment in 10 years. Well, they haven't. Apple has proven on a consistent basis that it is able to create a superior product and improve it with each new version appearing on the market. Moreover, its customers love the brand and feel connected given that the company has a long history of innovation and was a first mover in the smartphone field. The ecosystem Apple has created for iPhone users is amazing. Different applications, synchronization with Mac computers, as well as other Apple devices, such as iPods and iPads. Software development continued to improve, and Apple successfully overcame its initial production and shipment challenges. This elevated Steve Jobs' status as one of the most successful businessmen in history, and formed a solid fan base of both Steve Jobs and Apple around the world. All right. Why am I telling an Apple story in the lesson about Tesla's competitive advantages? Well, even though these are different companies operating in dissimilar industries, there are several strong resemblances between Tesla and Apple in terms of competitive advantages. Let's have a look at Tesla. The company has a first mover advantage in the electric vehicles industry. Tesla is the pioneer in the market and has been involved in the EV field ever since it was founded. People working at the firm have acquired valuable experience related to building electric cars and understand their peculiarities. They have managed to build superb automobiles like the Model S and Model X from the ground up without relying on legacy technology used for fossil fuel vehicles. Tesla's models are optimized in terms of weight distribution, battery performance, and software capabilities. This will make it hard for other players entering the field to catch up and build amazing electric vehicles from scratch. However, it is reasonable to believe this is not going to last decades, especially because Elon Musk decided to make all of Tesla's patents public. Nevertheless, the fact that Tesla is a first mover gives it strong customer loyalty and a reliable fan base moving forward. In addition, it allows the company to win a strong market share over the next several years, while traditional auto producers try to adapt their business. Another important advantage is the integrated vision Tesla operates with. The company aims to offer clients a highly cohesive ecosystem, installing solar roofs and solar panels, installing power walls serving as batteries to store the energy that was generated by solar roofs and panels during the day, selling electric automobiles that are environmentally friendly, recharging these cars during nighttime with renewable energy while people are at home, placing supercharger stations on the road. None of the other auto producers intend to offer a combination of these services. In 2014, Tesla released its autopilot feature for Model S and Model X. All new vehicles the company sells can be equipped with this extra by adding the tech package option. The amount of data collected since the launch of autopilot is another very important advantage that will help Tesla in the long run. Autopilot is based on machine learning algorithms fueled by huge amounts of data. The more driving miles during which autopilot has been turned on, the more reliable it becomes for customers. The experience Tesla gained in this area over the last few years is a significant advantage over other auto producers who will likely have to partner with firms like Google to develop their own version of the service. A lot has been said and written about Tesla's production woes in 2018. 
Yes, the company struggled with production of Model 3 in late 2017 and for the first two quarters of 2018. But then it managed to ramp up production and achieve the target of 5,000 automobiles per week, meeting its own deadline. I am sure a lot was learned in the process. Maybe all these learnings were already known to traditional auto producers. But there is also a slight chance they weren't. The Fremont Tesla factory in California is believed to be a state-of-the-art next-generation production facility. At some point, it was reported that Tesla relied on too many robots to build the Model 3, and this was the reason for production struggles. Well, now that many of these issues have been resolved, we can also think of the upside of robot automation. Can you imagine how big of an advantage this could be if Tesla becomes a superior manufacturer compared to the other players in the industry? All right, great. We talked about four competitive advantages Tesla could potentially have against competitors. Let's consider the fifth and probably most important one, branding and outstanding marketing. Tesla is a company with an ideal purpose. Its business credo is centered around sustainability, and so to say the firm is in the business of doing good. Tesla made all its valuable patents open source, proving that its main goal is to help humanity build a more sustainable future. Such gestures help Tesla earn the trust of people and build a solid fan base, supporters who will likely become customers one day. One of the principles that are deeply rooted in our psychology as humans is the principle of reciprocity. And whenever we as people feel that a person or a company cares deeply about our well-being and tries to build a better future, we will be tempted to return the favor and become clients of that company. It is very likely that Tesla will be able to sustain this competitive advantage if it keeps course and doesn't drift away from its identity. In addition, Tesla's CEO and major shareholder, Elon Musk, has become one of the most popular mainstream personalities in the world. His track record of continued success, Ashley Vance's biography book, appearances on talk shows and conferences, interesting tweets, exciting initiatives, and charismatic personality have helped him build a recognizable public image. This can be another important asset for Tesla in the long run. With his charismatic personality, Musk is able to win over the general public, all while making fans feel a part of the journey by regularly sharing the company's story. The combination of great products and Elon Musk's appeal as a successful entrepreneur are the reason why investment banking research analysts from Nomura said that Tesla has a brand following that is second only to Apple's. Okay, this is great. So let's consider a few of the similarities between Apple, back in the day, and Tesla, shall we? First of all, both companies had a rock star CEO who was one of the most recognizable business people of their generation and who managed to win over the public by telling the company's story. Second, both Tesla and Apple are two companies focusing on aesthetically pleasing products. Third, besides amazing design, the two Silicon Valley firms highly appreciate the importance of software in their devices from the very beginning. Both Apple and Tesla develop their software in-house and offer it as a part of an integrated system. Four, the two companies offer products that were built from the ground up. Apple constructed its phone in-house and acquired the expertise to do that on its own. The same is valid for Tesla and electric vehicles. Similarity number five. The two firms had a first mover advantage in their respective industries, the mobile device market and the electric car industry. Apple and Tesla took on established players in their respective sectors. Number six. Each of the two firms came up with a product that was significantly better than existing solutions. Apple's first iPhone was years ahead of other phones in 2007. The same is valid for Tesla's Model S and X vehicles compared to existing electric vehicles. Number seven. Of course, an obvious but rather important similarity is that both Apple and Tesla are US companies headquartered in the Silicon Valley of the state of California. This helps recruit some of the most talented electric and computer engineers in the world. 
Similarity number eight, so far, and probably in the future as well, Tesla, similarly to Apple, will be able to charge premium prices for its vehicles. Additional services, such as autopilot software add-ons, the network of free supercharge stations, along with a premium brand perception, will help sustain that. Nine, both Apple and Tesla operate their own chains of stores selling their products. The two companies have a very common desire to control the entire value chain. Okay, great, just a few more similarities. Number 10, Apple's reluctance to outsource its location app to Google is comparable to Tesla's reluctance to outsource its autopilot functionality to Google. Most of Apple's competitors use the Android platform, but Apple resisted and built its own in-house solution. Right now, it appears that Tesla has a similar approach. And number 11, this one is quite important. Both companies have a loyal fan base, which is something very rare in the consumer world of our age. Tesla and Apple are able to move people. The two brands create a connection by telling their stories and being transparent on what they are working on, creating a high level of excitement among brand followers. Awesome. Some of the competitive advantages we expect will help Tesla in the future are also similar to the competitive advantages that helped Apple establish itself as the most valuable company in the world for an extended period of time. Whether such a scenario will actually materialize for Tesla remains to be seen. And this is precisely why this is such an interesting case study.